Hello everybody and welcome to part 2 of my Disney 100 Stitch in Disney Classic Costume Cosby Blind Box Set video. So to recap in part 1, I opened the first 4 stitches in this full set case of A. So this means I've only opened half of this full case. So in these four boxes we opened yesterday, we've got Dumbo Stitch, Sebastian Stitch, Dalmatian Stitch, and the regular edition of the Cheshire Cat Stitch. Which means we're only missing the Raja Stitch, B Stitch, Olaf Stitch, Simba Stitch, and the special edition Metallic Mystery Cheshire Cat. And we've got four more to open which are at the very back, so let's see who we get. Ooh, and if you're new here and enjoyed this type of content, please hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell icon for more awesome videos like this. Also, I'll leave the link to part 1 where I got these 4 stitches in the description below. And now, let's move on. And now it's about time we get opening these last 4 boxes at the very back. And we're gonna start off at the top left corner, so... Let me just pull that up. Anyway, let me show you the mini box before we open it, in case you forgot what it looks like. So here's the front, the sides, the back, the top. Now let's open it. And it turns out that our fifth stitch, which is our first one of today, it's the Olaf Stitch, and he looks so dang adorable. I love how he's wearing a white colored beanie, and it has the twigs that make Olaf's little bit of hair. I think it looks very, very adorable, and the beanie here has an interesting feel to it. Also, Stitch's face looks so, so cute, especially with the tongue sticking out. On the body, we have the signature snowman balls, as well as the butt ends, and we even have the arms, which are tree trunks. It kind of reminds me of Groot when I look at it. And here are the legs, well, Olaf's legs, and this is the cutest costume. And here's the back, and that's pretty much it for the Olaf stitch. Pretty basic, yet so adorable. And now for the stand. So for those who don't know how it works, just... Look for the peg on the purple stand and look for the hole on Stitch's feet and then just plug it in like so, push it in, and there you go. Now the Olaf Stitch is ready to be displayed and it looks so adorable. Now let me do a full 360. And here is the card that Olaf Stitch comes with. So here's the front. And here's the back with an amazing dark green background. So that was our fifth stitch, which is the Olaf Stitch. Now let's get out our sixth one. And I think I'm going to pick the one over here. And our sixth stitch turns out to be the Raja stitch. And this is another adorable one. So, just like the Cheshire Cat stitch, he's got a big wide open mouth smile. And what's very interesting about him is that the tiger hoodie he is wearing is representing the Raja tiger from the movie Aladdin. Also, a cool detail about the hoodie is the zipper on the body, which means that it's a jacket that Stitch found in the closet and decided to use it to represent Raja from Aladdin. That's a clever idea by Disney. Also, the colors, the bright orange and the black and white, are just incredible and it's just so vibrant. I even love the tail design. It definitely reminds me of Tigger from Winnie the Pooh. Also, we've got the white colored paws very, very clean. And here is the bottom with a peg hole. And that's pretty much it for our Raja stitch. And here's the card that Raja stitch comes with. So here's the front with a blue background. And here's the back with a pretty pink background. 
Anyways, that was our sixth stitch, the Raja stitch. And we've got two more boxes and three more characters to get. So we're only missing the B stitch, Simba stitch, and the Mystery Cheshire Cat. So either we get both the Beast and Simba, or we can get the Mystery along with either Simba or the Beast. So let's see. Now let's get out the next box. And our seventh stitch turns out to be the B stitch. And this stitch looks very, very handsome. I love the suit that he's wearing. It looks very, very accurate to how you see the Beast in the Beauty and the Beast classic movie. I also love that he's holding the iconic rose. And he looks so, so adorable and ready to propose to Belle from Beauty and the Beast. Also, he's wearing a cool cap. And it's got the beast's ears. And what's pretty funny is that they tied a little bit of the cap to represent the little bit of the ponytail of the beast, if I'm not mistaken, which is quite funny. On the back, we can see Stitch's right arm. And we even have the beast's tail. It's quite funny how both Stitch's tail and the beast's costume tail are together, which is quite funny. And moving down to the legs, they're pretty basic, just black pants, and that's it. But overall, this is a very good looking B stitch, and this probably will be in my top 5 favorite stitches in this set. And here's the bottom, and that's pretty much it. And now let's put him on the stand. Anyway, here's the card that the Beast Stitch comes with, and here's the front, and here's the back with a dark blue background. And that was our seventh stitch, which is the Beast Stitch, and we've got one more to open. So the only ones we're missing are the Simba Stitch and the Mystery Cheshire Cat Stitch. Honestly, I don't care about that Cheshire Cat Mystery Stitch, so I'm only rooting for Simba, so... Let's get our final box out. Oh boy. And yes, it turns out that our final stitch is the Simba stitch. And it's actually the one I really wanted the most. So let's have a look at him. So on the front, we have Stitch looking very, very happy. And I love the flowery, leafy mane elements surrounding his neck. It just reminds me of the Can't Wait to Be King song in the Lion King classic film. And it's just a basic stitch, so there's nothing too much going on. But I do like the detailing on the leaves. On the back, we've got the cute little Simba tail, as well as the back of Simba, so it's just yellow. And what's quite funny is that a little bit of the back of Simba Stitch is orange. So maybe Stitch kind of ripped that yellow part a little bit and they just had to patch it up with some orange. Cause as you can see, there's some stitching there, which is quite funny. So yeah, that's our final stitch. And here is the bottom. While this may look quite basic to my liking, this is definitely my favorite. And let me just put him on the stand. Just push it in. Okay, there we go. And here is the Simba Stitch card. So here's the front. And here's the back with a purple background. And that was our final stitch that we got today. The Simba Stitch. So out of the eight we opened today in that full case, we got eight different stitches which are the regular ones, meaning we're only missing that Mystery Cheshire Cat. Honestly, I don't care about that Mystery Cheshire Cat. All that matters is that we got these eight regular ones right here. My favorite of the eight is probably gonna be the Simba Stitch that we 
open last. Not only do I love the Lion King a lot, but I think the flowery mane that Stitch has around his head is just so adorable. And overall, I really enjoy unboxing all of these Stitch and Disney classic costume Cosby's. I think they really make so many Disney adults nostalgic, especially for those who grew up with the 90s, the 80s, the 50s, and the 60s Disney where some of their greatest movies were made. And the fact that Disney has come so far, all the way back from 1923 till right now, makes me feel extremely proud of the Walt Disney Company for how much effort they've been putting in with their media and merchandise. And the fact that they're still making great movies to this day is just phenomenal effort. Especially with that Once Upon a Studio short that came out in October. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please consider subscribing and also hit the bell icon, and feel free to leave a like and comment. If you managed to find these if you live in Asia, tell me if you did, and if you managed to get them, tell me which stitch you got in the comments. Anyway guys, thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll see you guys next time.